All right, guys, so we've come a long ways in this project. Um, let's keep moving on. In the last video, where did we leave off? We left off with the creation of functions that would handle uh, the data that would be placed inside local storage, such as setting it, getting it, and deleting it, as well as functions for our cookies, setting, getting, and deleting the cookies. Okay, and all that stuff would be placed inside here, right? All browsers have a few areas within the browsers that we can store data, local storage, and also here, cookies. And that's what we're gonna make use of. Uh, currently, they're both empty, but let's also, I wanna mention that as of now also, um, if I, right now, let me open this network tab here. When I sign in over here with the valid credentials, I'm gonna press sign in. Oh, this could take a while here. Um, actually, let me let me refresh this. Try this again. Sign in. Okay, that took a while, but you see now we got a status quo two hundred. If I look into here. The response that came from the server is I get the token and I get the user object. Um, this is more clear to see here. So we get the token and we get the user object. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. We received the token and the, the user that's signed in from the server back to the to the client or the browser. So what we want to do is take this information and use those functions that we created in the last lecture to actually store the token and the cookie in these areas here. Okay, that's what we want to do. Okay, so let's go. Let's go to work. Okay, so uh, here I have my notes uh, set up, then and catch. Now, if I go to my sign in component. Um, over here, the signing the sign in uh, function that I created here that was in that was the function inside my um, let me go here API auth. That's right here. Okay, so this makes an Axios request, and this is actually this right here is this va variable here is what's going to store the response that's coming from the server, and we're returning that response. Now, as I mentioned, Axios is a promise based, so it's we, we can use a then and catch. And that's what I'm going to do over here, okay, over here in the sign in. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do then, oh, actually, uh, period, then, and I'm going to get the response back. And then I'm going to do a catch, a catch with an error if there is an error that occurs during that, um, during that process. And Right now, I'm going to do console log um, sign in. A, no, yeah, uh, let me lowercase sign in func sign in a API function error, and now I'm going to pass the error. Okay, and here, oh well, let me get let me mark that off first. But this is we we set everything up here. Okay, so now we have the then and the catch. Okay, so this we set it up uh, to be promise based. So let's go ahead and mark that off. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is I want to create the set authentication function. Okay, this function is going to 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 actually create uh, uh it's going to have the process of adding the lo uh, the user in local storage and the token inside the cookie. Okay, so let's go ahead and make that. Now I'm going to create. In order to do that, to do that, I'm going to go into let's see source components into my helpers. My helpers folder. I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it auth, short for authentication. So. Uh, functions related to authentication and so I'm gonna call that auth.js and this function I'm gonna call as I mentioned here node set authentication okay I'm gonna do export const set authentication and this is going to take the token 
and then the user object. And uh, these two arguments are going to be what we re what we receive uh, from the server side. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to make use of those functions we created in the last lecture. So let me set up my token first. Now, what was that token or, or set up the cookie first? So that cookie, to, to set the cookie, was called set cookie. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, let me reorder this here. Okay, so it was called set cookie. Set cookie. And the cookie takes in a key, a name and a value, right? So the name was, I'm going to call it token. And then the value is going to be the token that we get as an argument over here. Okay. So the name of the token is going to be, the, the name is going to be token and the value is going to be token of what we receive here. Okay. And also import, make sure you import set cook. We have to import that function. Okay. From um, that file. So, so we're going to uh, destructure set cookie from the cookies file. Okay. And it's in the same directory. So that's why we do dot and then one uh, four slash. All right. So now we take care of that. And another thing we want to do is we want to do set local storage, set local storage. And this, the, the name is going to be user. And then the value is the user object. Okay, and that's what we're uh, passing in as an argument. Okay, so set local storage here. Remember, last, uh, that's what we called the, the function when we created it in the last lecture, set local storage. So that's, that's where I'm getting that from. Okay, so and also the same thing, make sure you import that function here and it's coming from local storage, the local storage uh, file. Okay, so that's why I'm able to make use of it here also. All right, so I have this function at my disposal now. Okay. So now what I want to do is, uh, let's see here. Okay. So create set authentication. Okay. I can mark that off here. Okay. So the next thing is I want to do is I want to test it. So now that we have this function available, let's go back to sign in and, um, we, we're going to make use of it in here, but we have to import that. So I'm going to import that. I'm going to do import, uh, import, and that's, let's see, we've got to go back one directory, go into helpers, and that's auth, inside the auth file. And uh, we want to destructure, it's called set authentication. Okay. All right, so let's scroll down here and over here in the handle submit, Okay, if we go to right here in our then block, this is where we're going to handle everything. Uh, if the response from the from the from the server uh, is successful, everything here. Okay, so this is where we actually want to set the cookie and or set the cookie in local storage. So I'm going to make use of that function set authentication authentication and pass in those two arguments, right? That that we had set for our for our function, right? We had the token and the user we have to pass in. So we get that by let's over here we're getting the response here that we're getting back from the server from the axials uh, response dot data and then token. Okay, and then this, and then the second one was the the user. So that was response dot data dot user. Okay, so this should do the trick. That should be it. So now we can actually test it. Let's go actually, let's go ahead and test it. So my assumptions is that now, now that I have the, that function set up, that when I actually log in here, that local storage and cookies, they will have the data placed within them. So let's go ahead and test this out. Do sign in. You see, so for local storage, as intended, I had the user object that's actually stored here, right? So we have the user, the signed in user with the, with the over here. Let me widen up the screen here. Okay, so you see we have the ID, 
we have username, we have email, and then we have the row of the user. Row zero signifies just a regular user. Okay, and if we go to cookies, look at that. We get the name of the token, which was token, and we have the value of the token, which is a JWT token right in here. Okay, and um, we had set the token up, or we had set the cookie to, to expire for one day. It's gonna last for one day. Okay, so there we go. Um, so now that we have that set, that's pretty much it. Um, we tested it out as well, so it worked. Um, but also, I want to mention to you right here is that um, remember the cookies. We so we ha I mentioned that the expiration it's going to expire in one uh, in one day. Um, so in one day, that cookie is going to be um, is going to be gone from this from here. Now, local storage. The way we have to, the way we can do it here is um, the user. The user themselves could actually go here to the application tab, and if what they can do is click on this clear storage, and and you see this tab here, clear site data. It will eliminate all the uh, all the, the the cookies or local storage, all that stuff from here. So watch if I click here, clear cookie, and I go to my local storage. That's gone. And the same with uh, cookies, okay? But that's one way that the user can actually um, delete their cookies and um, local storage uh, values pertaining to that specific site. All right, so that's it for now. Uh, we'll continue on in the next lecture.